Well, all right, good morning, everybody, for Sunday, the 30th of May. Sorry for a couple of minutes late. Uh, just a couple of computer issues this morning. Uh, looking at uh, the synoptic charts, we have high pressure over the UK currently, um, bringing with it some slack sort of easterly winds. Unfortunately, at the moment, that's bringing us some sort of uh, the Met Office almost describing it as sort of sea fog. It's not quite that, but certainly uh, there's quite a, a quite a lone version at the moment. It's quite easy for the uh, weather to produce plenty of cloud at low level. Uh, out further to the west, past about Popham uh, and a bit of Wallop, it is actually blue sky. So unfortunately, uh, we're just the unlucky ones at the moment. But as the leading edge of the front goes uh, uh, goes eastwards, we should start to see it brighten up from the west. Uh, that continues for the next couple of days, um, where the high continues to move a bit close to Scandinavia. Might see some frontal activity in the middle of the week, but nothing like the sort of weather that we've had uh, for the rest of May. Those slack winds, um, sort of uh, on the ground, sort of no stronger than about 10 knots at flying heights, maybe sort of uh, 15 at max, and generally dead easterly, uh, where possible. Probably best avoid. Uh, sort of windward coasts where that might be just a little bit stronger, a bit lighter out in towards Wales. Satellite picture, as you can see, shows that uh, quickly receding line of, uh, of clouds where you can actually see that we're on this sort of wedge here, typical. Uh, but other than that, uh, if anybody's driven in for the west this morning, I'm sure you've driven into cloud. So uh, it's going to get better, folks. It's not a problem there. And uh, top temperature today, probably somewhere in the region of about 20 degrees. I did see sort of 21, 22 in uh, West London yesterday and dew points uh, down into single figures. Public forecast shows no significant weather today. Uh, probably some poor visibility to start off with, even when it does brighten up, but it's better by this afternoon. Uh, and yeah, mainly easterly and sunny. Probably not as much cloud as we had hoped. That's the picture outside at the moment. I see plenty of you are on your way to the grid. And David's forecast uh, from a couple of nights ago uh, still showing that uh, we want the dew points really to be about five or six degrees to give us uh, the uh, some cumulus, although at times I don't think we're going to see that across the country. Um, but 17 degrees, and that still, despite the forecast being a couple of days old, just rings true. We'll look at that in a moment. Temperature at the moment, 10 degrees, dew point of eight, unsurprising this level of cloud. And if we look at the potential flight distance for today, we're looking uh, not as good as we had hoped a couple of days ago, but still reasonable uh, down towards uh, Salisbury, up towards uh, sort of Siren Sister and round. So uh, not the mega, mega day that uh, had potentially been forecast a couple of days ago, but uh, still good nonetheless in comparison. Uh, tomorrow, uh, though, uh, maybe in a slightly narrow area, a bit more chance of cumulus, hopefully not this sort of uh, moisture and low cloud. Soundings. So, um, uh, Lark Hill uh, shows that we need about sort of 16, 17 degrees to get going. Give that to the afternoon. You can see that's relatively blue. Um, so they've got the blue skies before us. We look at Lark Hill at about three o'clock when it's warmed up to about 20 degrees. More charts of cumulus by then. Um, looking at cloud bases, probably around four and a half thousand feet, all blue to around that level as well. Similar for Fairford. Uh, again, a little bit more chance of cumulus there. So hopefully this is right and it's uh, not as pessimistic as Top Meteo is showing for cumulus today. Uh, but again, about 19, 20 degrees, giving a cloud base of around four and a half thousand feet. Top Meteo. If we look at, I think it has started to model what we've got above us at the moment. Yeah, you can just sort of see this sort of uh, whitish yellowy patch, which is showing the cloud. Uh, because as we run through the day, uh, not particularly much cumulus in our area, it might be a little bit better down to the southwest. Um, that's six o'clock in the evening then. If we look at, uh, from sort of 11 o'clock, not expecting it to start particularly early here. I know a lot of you had a bit of a struggle yesterday, but I enjoyed all the gaggle videos. That was fun. Um, so sort of half past 12, one o'clock, maybe first launch. Uh, we'll see what we get on with. Uh, but sort of blue or shallow cubeless around that time, up to about three and a half thousand feet. By sort of two, three o'clock this afternoon, 
across a relatively good area, four to four and a half thousand feet, maybe even five thousand feet in some places. Um, better under the cumulus down to the south or west. No evidence there that there might be some sea air effect, and certainly sea air effect on any windward coast. But uh, out to the west of us, up towards uh, sort of the Swindon area, looking relatively good for most of the afternoon. No TAMs. Well, uh, we are notified is very busy today. I have to do that a couple of days in advance, but I put a note on that for under gliders. So that normally uh, puts a few people off coming near us. Uh, silence active all day today. Um, not surprising, could be some football charters coming back from the Champions League. Um, gliding down at Middle Wallop and Ayers Field at Dorset. Uh, the danger areas are uh, generally active. 21, which is near Uphaven, Everly, uh, is active up to 3,000 feet until tomorrow morning. Um, looking at the rest of these 16 and 18, making sure that, um, yeah, there's um, the danger areas at uh, in Salisbury Ops, Imber, and Lark Hill are temporarily reduced to 3,000 feet. Uh, there, you will not get really a crossing service below that because Salisbury Ops are not allowed to and they're not there. London information can advise on anything else. 28 and 27, I imagine, a paragliding no TAMs or a helicopter air display. Now, that is a bit more rare. Uh, helicopter air display between uh, one and five. That helicopter clearly has a lot of fuel. Um, so at Langmead Farm, uh, East Hanny, Oxfordshire. So uh, not quite sure what's going on there. Must be a very exciting helicopter, that's for sure. But that's uh, sort of out towards the Benson area. Have a look at the notes for a bit more further detail on that. Uh, I think other than that, the the general area around us is going to be very busy. Uh, when I spoke to Farnborough a couple of days ago, uh, they were expecting one of their busiest days, not just for jets, but also for local uh, GA traffic in ages. So just be aware of that. And there's still uh, potentially some filming going on at Abingdon. Uh, if you look, there's some uh, sort of mock-up B-17 flying fortresses that they're making for some uh, movies. If you get some good photos, send them in. It always looks good. But generally, other than that, the usual... Uh, items uh, for Farnborough, Solent and the rest. Uh, any questions about airspace do come and see me. The briefing video is available online uh, on our members area and we can make that available. I know that the uh, British team have. Operationally, no jet movements today. Um, runway 09 in use for the grids. Um, I'm expecting quite a big grid if this, uh, if the forecast does uh, be a little better than Top Meteor was suggesting, a bit closer to what we were expecting uh, sort of 24 hours ago. So for that reason, 09 can be quite a congested grid because we can't go too far forward. So no further forwards than the fuel pump, otherwise you won't get in the air. And for those of you at the back, just compress that grid for me if you could, just so that we can get as many gliders in as possible. We're not having to pull forward because that is a bit of a pain. Uh, help us on the grid, please. Um, for those of you at the back, even if you are flying a big task, uh, it'd be nice to have some help because you won't get in the air any quicker without it. Uh, restaurant and bar, hand space, space, and then let some fresh air in. You know the drill. And uh, we'll be winching on from the runway, sort of uh, launching off the grass, but uh, launch one on the runway for most of the day, and we will be going ahead with the trial lessons. So other than that, enjoy today. I do hope it's uh, a few more cumulus for you. And uh, it says... And I'm sure we'll also have a good day tomorrow. Bye for now.